Why don't you come down here and find out? I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See you then, Mr. Scatterbrain. My darling husband, I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore, but I'll be free to focus on my art and you, well, <laughs> you'll change the world like you always dreamed you would. And no matter what happens, we will always have each other. All my love, now and always, Lenore. Hey, 
I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news and you may want to brace yourself. <laughs> Love you loads. Honey, are you okay? Talk to me. But are you are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said. I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> Just a couple anymore. It means we're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? Find your way back, Mr. Black. Focus on the right photo and, and come back to me. What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So they were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. Let me give you an example. How old are you? 25? Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street and you're scared. You start uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding. Your, your hands get sweaty. You don't understand what's happening to you. When you're an adult, for Christ's sake, you shouldn't be scared of a horse. Now, now, you've no way of knowing what the root of this phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour, maybe less. Perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just you know, stood there staring. What? Let me... Let me give you an example. How old are you? 25? Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work.
Scale of one to ten. How much does this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten. You made them cut my fucking arms off. My fucking. We did it to save your life. That landmine. I will end you, motherfucker. Fucker, I will crush your fucking throat! <laughs> How? You have no arms. But you seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, so let's call that a nine, shall we? Lithurst. Oh, I mean, it's a sad, sad day for psychiatry and for people with mental health issues all over the world. I only helped my patients get better. Nothing more. Uh, and there's one thing I just don't understand. Why do the media still criticize my methods? How dare they? What about my results? Hmm? And not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured. Not one. And I know why. It's because my patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. Seem real to me, even before I got here. The puppet master, the one in control. Because I sure as hell wasn't in control. I felt like shit for as long as I can remember. Everyone was mean to me in school, I was constantly bullied. But I assumed it would stop once I was an adult. Because I believed adults would be too busy to waste time on hurting the people around them. Well, I was wrong. So I found comfort in pills and drinking. But there was always this presence, like an enormous hand hovering over me. It wasn't my decision to go there and start shooting those people. I'm surprised it's the only thing missing from those CCTV recordings. The black strings coming out of my hands and feet, and the shadow looming over those poor bastards when I was finally made to pull the trigger. On a scale of 
Dopamine levels have spiked. Are you enjoying this, Mr. Black? Right is wrong, and left is right, and out of sight where we belong. No left is right, and right is wrong. It's a game, don't you see? Party game. They want you to let them out, but you mustn't. You mustn't let them out. Let our first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of this place. Focus on the photo when you're ready. Listen, I think someone's been murdered here in the warehouse. You should send someone. It, I'm half a mile down the road from the Pike Hill turning off Park Street. 
I was out on a run and I stopped here for a minute. I'm looking at him right now. He's lying face down. No, he's definitely dead. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's Jacob. Jacob Singer. Look, can you please just send someone? Thanks. I do remember this place. Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at point-blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse? That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find out, shall we? 